This is the final channel, Be in the Know. Today we are honored to be hosting a fresh graduate from Makere by the names of Edward Kasinge. Due to a photo that made social media rounds and it was all over the media, over the news. And as the final channel, we took it upon ourselves to reach out to Kasinge to come and talk about himself and about the viral photo that made rounds. I think many of you have seen it already on social media. Mwenamwe na mukarabi akafana nyako nga mkuru kasingi alimukatari afukamiri de jejawe. So today we are honored to be hosting kasingi and I think let's hear from the horse's mouth what is it about him and why people think this photo was viral. What made it go viral? Kasingi. Wani seo. Cheo chiri wo. Te wali boss, che chiri wo. Te wali. You are here because of the viral photo that made rounds on social media. You kneeling in the market and the grandma blessing you like an Indian over your head and over the gown. So who is Kasenge? Kasenge Edward is a fresh graduate from Makere University. Yes. I was born in Mitiana district at Mwera Hospital. When I was making one year, uh, Kasenge Edward was brought to his grandparents' home. Mm. That's where I grew up from. So I grew up from Lunguja Chitunzi mm. since when I was one year up mm. to now. That's where I stay. Um, I studied from Afro Nursery School for three years. Then I studied from Mirembe Infant School mm. for seven years. Then after there, I went to Mengo Senior School for the first four years. Mm. And then I did my A-level still from the Mengo Senior School. Yes. Two years, then things didn't go well. I had to go to another school, Makere High School in Migade. Mm. That's where I did my. Migadon Ruero Road? Yeah, Ruero, Bombo mm. Road. Bombo Road. Yes. Bombo Road, yeah. That is that's, where you completed your form six. That's where I completed my form six from. After there, I joined Makere University mm. and I did a bachelor's in industrial and organizational psychology. I graduated, I graduated with a second class upper. Yeah. You graduated in what? Bachelor's in what? In industry and organizational psychology. What do they do? Um, I, you know I love bragging. We are occupational therapists. Mm, meaning? Um, more we deal with, with workers at the workplace. Katigwa tategede omukuro no mwabangu nenda chinyo nyola bulu unji. Is it more like human resource management? Yeah, more, so, but we are experts. Experts. Yes, so you can just resource. look at a human resource, maybe employees at the stuff and you read what is going through their head. We don't read people's minds. Mm. Yeah. You, you just say to them? No, we don't set people's minds. What do you but, do? Uh, we just deal with people. Yeah. Okay. Kasenge, you said you went to your grandma's place or you are taken to your grandma's place when you are one year old. Mm. One year old, I'm sure you didn't know that you were taken there at one year old. When did you come to know that I was just brought here? Uh, we could be sharing his story. Um, I think when, ever since when I was a toddler, my grandma used to sing a song mm. Yeah, so You're growing up, you grew up calling your grandmama mama or Jeje? At some point I used to call her grandmama, mm. but then after, after a while I realized that she's my grandmother mm. Yeah, yeah but, we share a story, mm. because even when I was growing up, I used to know there is someone I call Jeje mm. But I never had mama in me, <laughs> because maybe I was also I wasn't dropped, but I was put there mm. by my payroll when they were still struggling mm. uh, until about four or three years. That is when I moved away. But I grew up not knowing the mama thing, mm. the tata in me. So I would call Jeja. So when I go to my mother's place, I begin calling mama, but I could say mama Mose, not referring to my mom. Did you ever get a chance to meet your mom since then? Uh, I remember my mom looked for me when I was in my primary five mm. yeah she came I, I don't know if she looked for me or she just came to check on me mm. she came around and she didn't even spend an hour or 30 minutes and then she went back where she was staying mm. but when I was growing up I knew that she was my mom I knew that I had a mom mm. and they told me so around primary seven I went and looked for my mom mm. and I found her in town mm. where she was working from mm. Yeah, it was also a little bit emotional for me. I can just recall now that it was emotional because I cried mm. when I saw her. But still what I was looking for was the motherly love and the bond mm. between that me and my mom. That is what I was saying. What, what moved you to yeah. go look for your mom in primary? I remember everyone was talking about her mother. In 
school. In school. Mm. Well, when we had uh, those those class days and what meetings, MDD, mm. we could look out for mothers. Like people could call mothers, and me, I didn't have one. Mm. So it, I picked interest in knowing who my mother is. And I remember even the other thing that forced me to look for my mom. It's when my dad disowned me in primary six, and then I knew that Wait, now mm. life. Why would your dad disown you in the first place? Uh, Are these paternal or maternal grandmas you stay with? I'm staying with my paternal grandmother, my paternal yeah, grandmothers. Your father's, yeah. my, your, father's your father's mother, side, yeah. my father's mother, my father's mother and my father's aunt. Mm. So yeah. it's more paternal. It's paternal. Why, why would your father disown you in I think, primary? I think it's by choice. I didn't look good for him. But you look a good man. I didn't look good for him by then. Mm. I know I wasn't looking good by then. Why? The feeding and whatever. I just, I know, you know, it's a little bit challenging. But what I, what I know, when parents meet new new people in their lives, like mm. when he met a new wife, mm. I think I wasn't a much, I wasn't a, a, a point to discuss about anymore. Mm. So he had to concentrate on his new family, not me. So Did that he ever best tell option, you that you are no longer my son because when you say my father disowned me. It's yeah. like you heard it from his mouth. At some point, it became a song. Since whenever I saw, whenever he used to see me, he could mm. say it because I stayed with his mother. He could mm. come to see the mother, mm. so he could say, "Oh, you seen Zamzala," and which was okay. Did you ever think of going for DNA? No, mm. it wasn't. Even necessary. you didn't know the DNA at that time. Yeah, and being that even when I was still young, from mm. three years when I started understanding the situation, that he wasn't giving me anything. Mm. So when he disowned me, it mm. was more of like. Uh, like a, a blessing in this guys because mm. I it, it wasn't it wasn't adding up okay yeah uh, let's talk about the issue that brought you here that is the viral photo and the videos of mm. you kneeling in the market yeah. after graduating mm. what crossed your head and say okay now I've achieved all this mm. but let me look where it all came from and where it all started you know, in life, we mm. let's live alone this bragging life of Kwe Matida. Hey, uh, I, hey, I think let me even use Luganda for people to understand this very well. Mm. Uh, where you come from. Because mm. at the end of it all, mm. you have to go back to your roots. So, when I was growing up, I, I had these two peop- these two ladies in my life. Mm. And also Jaja Mwami, because mm. it's there also. Mm. So, the day I, I, I had to graduate, it was a Friday. We had to go to the Freedom Square, Macquarie University. But due to the COVID-19 pandemic, we had to go to Kolache. And so, I saw some kids that rented some gardens and put TV to just watch live. Yeah. Okay. So, Many what was so. your story? Many did so, also my group did so, but I mean, it wasn't in my mind. Mm. Um, I had already planned, even when I was still at campus, I was already planning to go to the campus, and I was already planning to go to the campus, and I was So, I was already planning to go to the campus, and I was already planning to go to the campus, and I was already planning uh, when I was in Fuluma, na Fuluma I was a young man, 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 I was a young Mugaun, nemba gama. Omtima guangi, kankolo omtima guangi chegua gala. Njia gala kusima, atenu omtima wangu gala ngende de mugaun. So nenge de mugaun ni ange. Nenge na ne baze jaja wange. Oro revido njivi ankole de. Ne ne nangamba fukami de ankole mixa. Wano kune ne mugaun ba nangamba kande tom ke kofukami de ankole mixa. Ne mugaun ba ah kafukami wano matoke ompe mixa kwa hage gampe de de. Teli cheta kisa genda kule tam ke kana kakuti ya kunte dao. Yes, Did it ever cross your mind that this video photo you are recording would go viral on social media? Actually, I didn't know that they were taking photos. Yeah. So what Nache happened? I was to go then I was going to search those and I was going to if someone posts such a pic or why it's going to, to, to go viral. Because 
I'm I'm no one in this country. Like no one knows me, and you no one is interested in. Yeah, no one is done in anything. I think this is your first time. You you hit social media really hard, uh, and everyone is posting and tweeting about you. Yeah, this is my first time. Actually, it's my first time to make rounds because sitting your mind towards social media. Mm. Yeah. Do you have any hobbies, like at campus? Yes, I do have them. What is your hobby? You look a very humble man. <laughs> my hobby is. Listening to music. Which is your favorite song? My favorite is Yes, we are Nang. Mpa Akapeda. Akapeda also a camp, Aka Yes, we are Nang. Did you see that video? Yeah, so well. Watch Yes, we are Nang. Come on, like, Netaga knew Yes, we are in Chennai in Kola. Yeah. Did you ever go to a boarding school? Yeah. Kati, how are you keeping up my boarding school? Keeping up, uh, mm. keeping up as in pocket money, which I know you've been to be a hassle. Like your story, but you want to be a gamba ever. And those are a chin chiva cum chicho chicho in a chicho ya gala, ya mugla mukos, okuva okuda kuza came a vega ever since in my primary. Kali embera ya mkubanga na yetu tayari mkubanga na nyonga ba na wala. Because wajaja wali wote sacrifice the roof in front. Not wajaja wali wako ni zuki la primary na lika na kato na ine ine midi mchana kola. Because tuako manga oksomero wajaja na gamba kedo kuti aina ya yenge demu aina kwa achi aina jita umutamu. Like these street vendors, the kids, abatunda amenvu, abatunda bichi. Leave alone, leave alone ba nanti katiba chukose sa. In a bad way, your man, I'm called Sanata Sanata. I'm so messed up, child labor. Now he's in a coma. Oh, Jaja, now I'm back. Do you have any name? Gamba. Ah, Jaja, to worry with you. Take a kid, don't chip. And take a don't chip. Bo. Name we tell us. Name we ban. Name we malao. Name we come out. Name we check. Google. Name we check. Google. Name we check. Google. Then now Gamba, catch your money. Kid, don't now Gamba. I'm too dangerous. We turn. We turn. I'm too dangerous. I'm too dangerous. Kati kama kwe kwenye chuo kina kula chini, pocket money, chuo kusomero, chuo kuba ulionge. Tegeza even your school days go. Are you mani de? We into we know. You know, no hustling, amu, mm. no very angry. Wait, yeah, kuba. Mm. Most people, mm. after having a degree, mm. they would feel shy to go in the market, can they go and go in the market, which So yeah. you, it came from your childhood days. It came from the my confidence that, and belief that yeah. this is who I am. This is who, you have to accept where you come from, because even in when I was when I had joined senior one in Mengo Senior School. Mengo mm. Senior School is a is a is a Mangla based school here of course, in Uganda. And when I was in senior one I used to leave school like around we leave we, they used to we leave school at around five. Mm. I had some supermarket of a friend, I could go clean up the supermarket. Mm. At the end of the day they pay my, they pay me money. Mm. Sundays I go collect rubbish in the neighborhood, I, I I burn it and they pay me money. And at school I used to be with some money. So Going to my grandma for me, it wasn't even it wasn't making news to me. Mm. Like to need in my gown, it was. Did you read the comments that came over from the photo? I read the comments. I some were positive, some were negative. Yeah, they they are really strong strong negative comments. Yeah, I saw that being humble doesn't put bread on the table. Uh -huh. A degree, this is not yeah. something. So not only big. that, I've seen mm. many bloggers posting something. They don't know my life, and I didn't put my my photo on social media. Mm. And I didn't call for people's attention. Mm. Yeah, it just went viral. There was some by God's this grace. guy was seeking attention. And I wasn't cheap seeking popularity. And, and so. I don't need the cheap popularity. Because if I was looking for popularity, I would have done that long time. Yes. Katnae, just that, I want to have a moment. You just appreciate until you cut on that. I appreciate your confidence mm. in going to the market. Mm. I appreciate your being real. Mm. And I also appreciate that you pay respect to the hustle. Of the people who helped you throughout, That's that good. that was a very moving message for me, mm. and that is why I had to look for you. Mm. Uh, but now, after graduation, do you have mm. a job? I don't have a job. You don't have a job. But by God's grace, I'm hoping I'll get a job. What job would you want? Because these days, what yeah. you study is not what you really do. At the end of the day, it you true. may get a paper, but the papers, okay, papers mean something. Mm. But it takes the person and also the ability to venture out in other fields. That I would want right now. I've done bachelor's in industrial organization or psychology. Mm. Mm. I would want to be in that field. So anyone out there, do you be a human resource? What do you be? I be a human resource, but also there are some other sub 
subject like sub 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 thing is we have studied in our topic and mm. i know of course mm. whereby i can be a human resource i can be a customer care a customer PRO. yes i can be a pr customer care service manager i can be my course is a very good course because it's it has administration in it so i can do administration you can do any admin yes. work any administrative work okay. yes. so anyone out there that may be having a job opportunity hit at your man how how do people get you uh, people can reach me through my number. Actually, it's only my number which is safe now, because mm. my ac accounts people have created many accounts now. Okay, you can give out your number. Uh, Somebody might be watching and they have a job opportunity. Uh, and they would want you to just apply for being humble, for being real. <laughs> mm. My number is zero seven zero six eighteen fifty four seventy. That is Airtel. MTN is zero seven eight three seventy twenty two seventy two. Okay, now that you have graduated. Mm. Do you have any other siblings that now my turn is done? Mm. I may need to do this and do this to pull up these people as well. Mm. I don't really have family. I don't really have siblings, but I have people I would want to help okay. around my community. Okay. Yes, uh, I want to, to mainly I want to help people who are with, like who are like me because I've associated with them. Mm. Actually, even most of my friends when you go into my circle, they are people who don't have father figures in their lives. Mm. Yes, so I really want to to work hand in hand and I see how I can help others who are not like me. Because I believe there are those who are going through bit, uh, worse, 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 worse situations than, than yours. Yeah. Have you made up with your father and mother? I know parents really tend to turn up on graduation. Yeah, day. they turned up. Because <laughs> I have a friend who I have a friend who made like who, who decided to make a Thanksgiving. And uh, your father was there putting on a suit? My father was around, my mom was around, they were all like all over the hair, they were talking everything they wanted to talk, but Still, oh. I knew they are my parents. I have nothing to do. I can't change it. You can't change it. Yes. Your parents. But yeah. how did you feel at the end of the day? Uh, oh, you felt nothing. You're like, okay, my grandmas have been there for me and my auntie. Actually, it was like uh, having no more visitors talking to you. Because I knew my mother had already talked. That's my grandmother. Mm. And my father, the other grandmother, has also had already talked. So and it your was... auntie, I've had an auntie in your story. Yeah, no, and my grandmother mm. and my my father's auntie is okay. also a, the, the other grandmother that okay. works in the market okay. so okay. when they talked plus my grandfather mm. me my function had already come to an end then your parents then my parents had to come in and yeah they had to talk what they had to but and they had what to say surprisingly what is that one other one thing that you wouldn't do to your family because you got work i know some of us have lived through challenges mm. and those challenges we say if i ever get a family mm. this i should never do Mm. I'll never stop loving my family. Yeah. Never stop loving your family. I'm mm. taking responsibility of Res Responsibility comes, but loving my family has to be number one. You know, loving and responsibility, they differ. Mm. You can be How responsible, but when you don't, you're not a loving father, you okay. can be paying for me school fees, but then we cannot sit on the table and we talk. And sometimes it's not school fees I need. Sometimes you need to talk to someone. I need to, I need to just talk to someone. Actually, that's me. I don't need. I, I don't say that I looked for my mother because I just looked for my mother because I wanted someone to bond with at that age and at that moment. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Uvaka, to the people watching. Uh, Uvaka the, from you. Uh, any message? Any uh, message? Uh, As uh, you sign out. The message I have it goes to the fathers. Mm. Uh, let's like. Uh, uh, Njagala and Sabi, our Zadi will now assign Javadi, but now occupied our Navaway, no cricket occupied our camp when you blam Baba Naval. This is the final channel, be in the know, Zanella alongside DJ Trace on the camera, and of course, Edward, the fresh graduate that made rounds on social media. We sign out.